Tejas. Tejas Hunt Club Podcast is the podcast for you and you and you and you. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Tejas Hunt Club Podcast. I'm your host, Brandon McDowell. And this week, we're going to be getting into our holiday gift guide. So I actually got this idea just because um, uh, we have a bunch of stuff that we use in our everyday life and then also for filming and hunting and stuff that can be used in your everyday life as well. So wanted to give you a couple tips and things that you could buy yourself for Christmas or you could buy, you know, the people that you care about that love to hunt and fish and spend time outdoors and maybe even film that stuff as well. So a lot of these things, like I said, is what Megan and I use every day um, and then also hunting and fishing and stuff. So before she joins us and we get into those gift guide items, I wanted to go over a few things. As always, we appreciate everybody following the podcast, listening to the podcast. Um, If you shared it with a friend, we greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, Do it again. Send it to another one. Um, There's been a lot of stuff going on on social media um, within the hunting industry per se. There's been a lot of photographers and companies as well that have been essentially banned or um, censored, if you will, um, because of some of the content that they're sharing. Not that it's bad, it's just showing um, guns and bows and arrows and some dead animals as well, but that, that that's what hunting is. Um, and I think uh, we can do a lot in part ourselves and then also um, people that aren't in the industry. If you see something that you like, share it with a friend. Um, hit that share button, like subscribe to all their content pages, not just ours. If you follow other, any, any other YouTube channels or listen to any other podcasts, be sure to leave them reviews and stuff, man, because it, it really helps. Uh, it really helps us out, um, getting it out to more, getting our content out to more people. And then also it helps us out in bringing more content to our loyal followers and listeners that have been there the whole time. So, um, if you can, please do that. If whether they got a Facebook page or Instagram, uh, Instagram page or YouTube channel, make sure you uh, show some love and leave a comment or a like or something. At the Tejas Hunt Club podcast, we hit a little milestone uh, with the last podcast with uh, Blake Moulton. That was actually our 30th full episode podcast, not just the gear videos, but sitting down with people and talking to them. So uh, pretty cool to hit that mark at 30. And we're going to be striving to do a couple more podcasts this uh this year um, with the rest uh, with the rest of this year and then also into 2024 into those po- last couple of podcasts uh, like I said we did one with Blake Moulton uh, Waterfowl Salt Co um, great guy out of Southeast Texas um, he's got a pretty cool story about his family and being in the outdoors and then um, he's got some cool content lined out for the rest of the year I've been following him the last couple of days and he's been up there slaying those ducks up north so uh, if you don't please go like and follow his page uh, show him some love for being on the podcast and spending some time with us and tell us sharing his story and what he enjoys about the outdoors and then episode 29 right before that we sat down with Derek Algesiva of Rock and A Taxidermy and Guide Service and talked about uh his best hunting buddy his little dog that he keeps uh that he packs around with him on hunting trips and stuff and talked a little bit of axis and whitetail um and his story getting into taxidermy he was actually the first taxidermist that we've had on the podcast so if you have any interest in that or uh, you're looking for a, a good taxidermist this season um definitely give him a shout he does some awesome awesome work if you listen to the podcast you'll uh you'll hear him talk about how he may uh it may take him a little bit more time on a podcast uh, on a on a mount or something but uh he'll make sure that he does it to the best of his ability and gets you something that really shows um really shows that animal off you know and like he put it he, he just because the animal died doesn't mean they have to look bad afterwards so uh check out that podcast it's gonna be episode 29 so Megan and I've uh, spent a little time volunteering this hunting season. Um, she did a podcast on episode 28, I believe, on her adult mentor hunt that she went on and helped guide with. So if you haven't checked out that podcast, please go back and uh, do that. Um, and then uh, got a little video and stuff we posted on uh, Instagram as well that she caught some clips and things. So be sure to check out that podcast. It was a real good one. And then um, I actually spent uh, last weekend – uh, on a youth guided hunt on an archery hunt actually uh, it was a lot of fun um, guiding those kids and and getting them on some white tail does and stuff there we had quite a few that uh, went down in camp so uh, 
a lot of good memories made, met some really cool people, um, and then started my journey, I guess, in volunteering and stuff with the Texas Youth Hunting Program. If you have kids that are below the age of 18, still in school and stuff, and they have an interest in hunting, um, I suggest you definitely go check out the Texas Youth Hunting Program and their website. Um, first, if your kids don't have uh, hunter safety, they will need to uh, get that done um, before they can join the program, but they also have some after that, they have some great hunts available for the youth of Texas. Um, I mean, from boys and girls trips to all guys trips to all girls trips. Um, I mean, there's a lot of great people around the state of Texas that have donated access uh, to their properties for kids to go out and hunt. And I mean, th this isn't just shoot all, all these hunts are just white tailed does and hogs and stuff. There's a couple of them that even get into some exotics and uh, going out to West Texas and hunting some elk and odd ad and stuff. So like I said, if you have kids and you listen to the podcast and they enjoy hunting and fishing, you want to get them in the outdoors a little bit more. I suggest you go tech, uh, check out the Texas Youth Hunting Program website, um, get signed up. On, on this uh, trip that I was just on, they actually certified their kids in bow hunter uh, education as well. So um, you have opportunities within these camps to do a little bit more than just hunting. Um, you get to be around some great people um, and then meet other kids and families from across the state of Texas that, that enjoy hunting and fishing and things. So um, like I said, check out Texas Youth Hunting Program. We'll have a link to their uh, website below in the description on the YouTube channel. And then also we'll have it in the description of the podcast as well. And as far as Megan and I's deer season, um, it's it's been a little bit of a, of a struggle this year um, just from having opportunities and time to get down to go hunt, um, to mix it in with neighbors and just weather and and learning the ropes of chasing whitetails man there's a lot of work hunting whitetails but uh, uh we really enjoy it hopefully we have some opportunities coming up this uh in the next couple of weeks we'll make it down and get to hunt again um but so far this season we've been a little busy and the opportunities we have had to get in the blind they've been uh, little to no success um on one of my sits, I did have two little nubbin bucks come in, um, so it was pretty cool to see them run around and chase each other around and stuff, you know, practicing for when they get older. Um, but their mamas, they they didn't choose to come in. When they did come in, it was, it was already past shooting light, so I didn't get the opportunity to take one of those does. Um, but hopefully here in the next couple of weeks, we're going to have some opportunities to get out and uh, do some a little bit more hunting. But we have been seeing a lot of uh, friends and stuff, people we follow on Instagram and on Facebook uh, having a lot of success this season. So that's pretty cool. We've been sharing a lot of those, uh, a lot of those photos and videos and stuff that have been posted. So if you haven't seen them, go check out our Instagram and then our Tales Hunt Club. <clears throat> and then also our Tales Hunt Club Facebook group. Um, if you do get something this year, post it in the group, uh, tag us on Instagram. We'd love to share it, uh, and give y'all some props for y'all success this season. I know we've been seeing, uh, our buddy Josh Pascal and his boys, uh, hunting pretty hard out in West Texas and then not white tails, but Brandon Bredemeyer has actually, uh, been in Spain for the past couple of days, just hunting Ibex. So, uh, we're going to share one of his posts on the Instagram page, uh, this week and then uh to show those guys off but he's been having a lot of fun across the pond so hopefully when he gets back uh we can catch him in between his whitetail hunting and uh hear that story about and stuff about going over to spain and hunting ibex uh, but we've been seeing a lot of people uh putting big deer on the ground so like i said if you if you do or you shoot some does or your kids shoot some does or something be sure to tag us on instagram and then share it in the facebook group join the facebook group if you're not already in it um, just hit that, uh, just look us up, Teos Hunt Club group, and then it'll pop up and then you can go in there and uh, join it. So if y'all have any ideas of stuff that y'all want, content y'all want to see, either gear reviews over different things or um, that you've seen us use or people that you want us to talk to to get their story, you know, shoot us a DM, put it in the comments on YouTube, leave us a review on wherever you're listening to the podcast at, whether that's Apple or Spotify, or uh, any other podcast platform that's out there. Uh, sh show us some love on the on the Instagram page. Um, but really appreciate y'all listening to the podcast and uh, enjoying the content that we bring to you. And we're going to be trying to get some more out there. And we're going to get into our Tales Sun Club podcast gift guide for 2023.
What's up, guys? Welcome to another Tales Hunt Club podcast gear video. I'm your host, Brandon McDowell, and also with Megan Mapier. This gear video is going to be a little bit special just because this is going to be our holiday gift guide for 2023. So this is going to be a bunch of gear that we use on a regular basis, um, but make great stocking stuffers if you want to get gifts for the people that you love that love being in the outdoors. So, um, like I said, this is stuff we use on a regular basis, um, either for um, filming, hunting, or just everyday stuff that we keep in our vehicles at all times because we travel a lot. Um, even I travel um, in almost an hour, a little over an hour to work every day. So, this is stuff that I keep with me at all times. Um, the first thing, because we all love our cell phones, we all love our electronics, and we all have the problem of them dying. So, um, I found this company a couple years ago. The first thing I purchased was this Dark Energy Poseidon, which is going to be um, a charger. It's going to be an external battery pack. This thing, from the time I bought it, I knew it was going to be cool. It's got a flashlight on it. Um, I could probably say off this Poseidon, I get three full charges on my cell phone with it. So um, it's been great. I've purchased multiple more. I've got Megan one for yeah. a birthday one year. And then um, we just keep them around, obviously, because we film a lot of stuff. Um, but it works great for your phone. So on the Dark Energy Poseidon, it does have the USB-C and the USB plug in it. So if you have the old charger, it'll work. And with the new iPhones, with the new charger, it'll work on here. Also, one cool thing about this, it does have a flashlight on it. So when you're trying to find that plug in the dark, there's a little light on there to help you out. I thought it was a cool little add-on that they put on there. But we have also charged the iPad or any other tablet. You can uh, get a good charge on it with this one, too. And then also with it, you have this cover so it keeps dirt, debris, or anything else out of outside of these plugs. Because you all know if it gets these any of these plugs get dirt in or anything, they're pretty much useless. So this is a little cover that they have on there as well. After the Dark Energy Poseidon, they came out with the Dark Energy Nano. So this one does have, only have the USB-C plug. Um, but it also can go on the back of your iPhone or your Android, I'm guessing, if you have those capabilities, and it can charge it as well. Nobody likes Android. Um, but this has been pretty cool to just keep in your pocket. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than the Poseidon, as you can see. Um, but I, I run both of them, so just a little extra battery pack uh, I love it. to keep, keep yeah. around. I keep it in my backpack at all times. I love it. And one thing um, I don't have yet that Dark Energy just came out. I got the email this week is the Spectre. Um, I'll put a little clip here or somewhere, a picture of it on here so you can see. But it's really a solar panel. So um, you can keep this solar panel with you. It folds up uh, pretty small to recharge these battery packs that you have. Or it has the capability of just charging your, your phone off the solar panel and just plugging it in directly. So that's something I'm going to be picking up and putting on my Christmas list. So hopefully we can get one of those real soon. Moving on to the next thing on our uh, gift guide here is going to be our probably my favorite knife yet that I've, I've purchased is going to be Montana Knife Company. So um, we have three of them here. We have the mini speed goat, the stone goat, and the regular just speed goat. Uh, the mini speed goat I carry every day. He has a Teton leather scabbard, has a little uh, pocket clip here. It's just my everyday knife. I mean, if I leave the house, it's going with me. Um, the stone goat I picked up as uh, my skidding knife. I usually carry the stone goat on my pack, just uh, right here on my strap. So with that little clip there, it goes on real nice and it stays pretty good too. These are just Kydex um, scabbards that they have that come with the knife. So anytime you order one, it comes with a little clip or it comes with the metal clip as well. So you can decide uh, how you want to carry that one. And then Lucky Megan here. Yes, I got super lucky. Won a speed goat uh, about a little over a month ago at mm -hmm. Archery Country when Josh Smith came down to Archery Country and did a demonstration and she won one of the raffle items. So um, those are the three knives they have that we have personally, um, but they have a bunch of different knives on mm -hmm. their website. Um, I mean, anything from hatchets to uh, Big, larger blades to real fine skinny knives, um, chef sets, uh, fish fillet knives. Um, I mean, it's it's all great products, all made it here in America. Um, they're up, like like the name says, Montana Knife Company. They're up in Montana. Um, they're doing a lot of good stuff for the outdoor industry that I believe, besides just making badass hunting knives. Yeah. So um, if you're looking to get someone a new knife this year, um, I'd 
highly recommend that you check out Montana Knife Company. It's a little bit difficult um, to get them because they do drops and different stuff. So yeah. depending on what model knife you want to get, um, it might not be available. Um, like I said, they're a small company up in Montana, but it is definitely worth the wait. Um, I'd say if you want to, uh, just get them a gift card. And then when uh, the drop happens, they can order the knife that they want. Um, but that's a good uh, present that you could give out to someone this Christmas. So this one's kind of going to be uh, multiple products. Uh, this one's actually going to be just like a brand on our on our gift on our gift guide, um, Kafaru. So if you watch any of our videos or hunting stuff, you usually see us with Kafaru. Well, I have a Kafaru pack, and then Megan's got a Kafaru Rogan here. Mm -hmm. um, I carry multiple Rogans. I have one just for hunting, and then I have one to keep in my truck, which most of this stuff stays in, um, and it helps keep it organized. Um, but starting out, like I said, I've, I've been running Kafaru stuff for a while. I had their little their pullouts and things that we're about to go over, um, and kind of what we use them for. And then I actually, like I said, graduated up to getting a pack too. So, mm -hmm. Megan, I'm gonna let you explain how you use your yeah. Kafaru pullouts because, uh, like she said, um, she was had a lot of stuff in her purse before, and then I started getting her these pullouts to kind of help organize some of that stuff to be found a little easier and quicker for her. So uh, I'm gonna let her explain how she runs some of her stuff yeah so i've he's been using them for a long long time and he was like i'm gonna order some more they're on sale and kafaru always has we always gonna have a package come to the door when kafaru has a sale yeah i'll say that forever um but his pack is great these little pullout bags i use them a lot because i travel quite a bit i don't even carry a purse anymore um i carry backpack only really but just having these and knowing what's inside of them and being like okay well i need a cube charger it's not in the bottom of my bag i just pull out the whole you know electrical bag that i have here there's a medium size one as well so um this is something that i haven't used in my bag yet but i also have the biggest size and this carries like a poncho a can of tuna just some stuff that i might need in the case of an emergency or something like that but it's all in one nice space um, and then like you mentioned the rogan i carry this every day i have some just emergency supplies in here as well um and so overall i just think it's been nice for me when i travel but then also day to day um just having everything much more organized and where it belongs yeah yeah for sure and i mean um like i said these these rogans work very very well for a multitude of different things mm -hmm. i use one as a kill kit um and then i have one that i take with me every day um you can keep fire starter you can keep your um extra dark energies in there as well. Like that's like I said with the electrical bag, be able to pull that out there. Mm -hmm. um, just extra stuff that you would need. Um, like I said, if you're traveling a lot, um, you can pack medicine in it. I mean, we have the other Kafaru bag here um, that we keep um, with different. When we travel together. <laughs> we travel together, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you, it, it gets real expensive if you get a headache and you have to stop at a convenience store to buy Tylenol and Benadryl, all those different kind of things. So we created this one here that we uh, just keep with us and it has all those things in it. So if, if those needs do arise, we're already ready for it. So if the person that you are buying a Christmas gift for is an avid hunter or just likes to spend a lot of time outdoors and you know they have to have their coffee like I do, um, I love these little jet boils. So these are super compact burners that you can fill up with water. Um, I make coffee with it, like I said, but you can also warm up your freeze dried meals. They run off of these little tanks that you can find at Academy, Walmart. I think they do have their own brand, but you can find these just about anywhere. Um, they scroll into the bottom and then you light it and you're good to go. So this next product is going to get its own video here pretty soon, but I felt like it deserved a spot on the gift guide. This is going to be the Manus X Elite shooting performance system. So this is actually going to be an attachment that you can put on uh, your rifle, your bow, uh, your pistol, and it measures the amount of movement that you have throughout your shot process. So that could be, um, if you're putting it on your pistol, it could be your overgrip, you could be uh, have your hands in the wrong spot or you could be in anticipating the recoil of the shot this um, system here will measure all that and tell you how to fix that so i've started messing around with it here for a couple weeks now i really wanted to use it quite a bit before i did a video on it just so i was more uh, educated on how it works and everything and then also um, to stack up some content so i could have it to put out to show y'all how it works um, but this is definitely something that you can pick up like I said, for your pistol shooter, your archery shooter, your rifle shooter, um, it has mounts and fit on ARs. Um, so you can use it to see and make you a better shooter. So this is going to be a great gift um, for any shooter of archery, uh, rifles. And like I said, it can mount on your AR as well. It can kind of give you an 
a good baseline to see where you can improve on your shooting capabilities. And uh, like you said, it's, it's fun to have guns and archery equipment and stuff, but you have to get out there and shoot them. And this gives you another training tool, um, a way to gauge where you are, like you said, and where you can get better as well. So highly recommend the Manus 10 uh, Elite. Uh, it's like I said, it's going to be a great stocking stuff for this year. And then here pretty soon, I'll do um, a dedicated video on this so you can get some more information on it. But definitely check out the website and then see if you can pick one up for someone that you care about or yourself. You got to care about yourself. So moving on to the next thing on the list that always makes a great stocking stuffer, and I don't think anybody will ever return or try to give back, <laughs> is ammo. Now, of course, you got to have the right um, firearm or know what that person owns. Um, but, you know, anything from uh, 9 mil ammo to 22, I mean, you can pretty much buy some calibers that work across the board, and you know that everybody usually has in their safe and if you don't know what caliber somebody shoots specifically you can always get them a gift card i mean bass pro shops academy um you can even get gift cards to some of the sites that you can find online that ship ammo directly to your door and the last thing on our list uh for this gift guide is going to be our med kit so this is a little personal med kit that you can keep in your backpack in your vehicle mm -hmm. um highly suggest that everybody carry one in their in their vehicle or keep one on them at all times i mean you never know when you can step on something or scratch your arm and need um, to take care of that. And then having these little portable med kits here um, are, are great to have with you. So this is gonna be our 2023 gift guide. Um, if you like some of this stuff, we'll have links below uh, in the description and on the podcast as well for you to pick up uh, some of these different things that we've had, like I said, from the Dark Energy, Montana Knife Company, Kafaru as well. If you have some stuff that you think should have been on our gift guide, drop them in the comments really appreciate it um we thank y'all for watching the video and listening to the podcast we've, we've gotten a lot of good feedback from everybody so we really appreciate it um like you said send this to a friend share it with everybody so they can either buy you these things for christmas or buy someone or you yourself can buy this for your family members that you know love and enjoy being in the outdoors so as always thank y'all for watching and listening and we will catch y'all in the next video